Hey, every day of my life, I get like reasons and motivation to want to work out. I just saw that video now and then I saw hot bodies, bikini bodies. Tomorrow morning when I wake up, I have to work out, sit up, everything. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome back to the breakfast show. And then it's um, time for our second sit down. We have here with us J, J Amani, aka J Square Amani. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, great How to have you. you doing? Wonderful mm. video, by yes, the way. Wonderful video. Is. Plenty girls. Do that thing we're doing. <laughs> Nice visuals in that, in wonderful. Um, let's talk about the process shooting that video and all about that. Um, who shot the video and how was it putting that video together? It was directed by Paul Gambit. And the experience for the video was crazy and hectic at the same time. So uh, it was fun out the way. And then you see those fine, fine girls with this inside the video. fine, hot. Yes, that one that was standing there. As in, wow. And wow. Yeah, as in to intimidate, she's a fine girl, but she was intimidated when she saw that video. How did you put together those vixens? Yeah. I know. I, I, it's but a you, lot wait, of work to get vixens. You had the director was talking about vixens. Was it two days ago? They okay. spoke about victim, uh, vic vixens, vixens and bleaching. Okay. Oh, did, I, I think it was because, because on producers and then artists like like light skinned models and big sense for their videos and all of that. So models now now they, they say it's not bleaching. That is whitening and toning of the skin. You know, but then let, let's talk about let's talk about a good video like this. Do you def, do you necessarily have to have um, nice beautiful girls like this? How how important are they to a video? It depends on the story behind the song you're telling. So. Mm -hmm. point. The, the, point. My song had something to do with, uh, with uh, two beautiful girls and talking yeah. about beautiful people and beautiful girls at the same time. So that's why they're involved in the video anyways. But if you do something different, I don't think I'll be needing like that much of girls in the video. Okay, cool. If you want to call Ooh. in and talk to... Uh, what, what's the title of that, what's, what's that, of that song there? Forget, forget the night. Hey, if you know you want to forget the night, forget you want to night. leave there, forget the night, you can call in yeah. 0700 000 72 Eight, eight. So let's talk about um, the title. The title. Okay. Yes, forget, forget the, the night. night. Yeah, the inspiration behind that. Yeah. Okay, basically, uh, the reason why the song is titled "Forget the Night" is because uh, I was talking about the relationship I have with two sisters. What's it with you guys? And no, no, you know, the other guy came and I said two sisters or cousins. Okay. It wasn't intentional. Like oh, okay. I knew you, and I don't know your sister. Then no, after, no, no, I'm just using. It's not working. My own case. She looks like her sister. Yeah, <laughs> you do that, look like. That's what you said. That's what you said. It's not work. It's not work. that. So okay. I had something going on with the sister. Then we broke up, and I met the other one, not knowing she was the sister of the first person I was with. Then. The other sister found out, so she was like, she was gonna tell her sister. Okay. Then she did. Then me, I go home. You know, uh, it was like, see, babe, come on, ask, let's just drink and forget this night. Something. Do you think that is possible, like in real life? Let's imagine a real life scenario. Do you think that would work? Because if you have like a serious relationship with a lady and you don't get to meet her sister, then I'm imagining the kind of relationship. It so sure will think work. It, it's it will just work. Story like fiction, like no, 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 no. it's a real it life happens. thing. A real it, life it, happens. it happens. Yes, yes. now yes. when a girl decide that. The name that my father gave me, which is Dami Lola, <laughs> now I decided to change the name to Natasha. Natasha. That's what happens. Because now, if you know the name, only, only changing of name, so you will not tell her real name. Well, DPs, pictures, <laughs> you guys don't go on like dates at all. That's what I say. Something would make him find out. But was it a personal experience or you were talking yeah, about Yeah, was it like a story that I had to come up with? I, I, just, I just thought of it. I believe it might have happened to a young person before. Yeah. So mm. Instead of mm. it, then I did, did something like Definitely. that. Definitely. Okay, let's talk about your origins musically. How was it uh, starting up music for you, considering that we are in quite a very, very vicious industry? Mm -hmm. There's no play here. How is it um, getting into music for you? So far, it's been good. Like, boy, starting up was very, very crazy, though. Like, even before I got signed or even before I go to shows and stuff like that. Starting up music as a whole, it's like very, very hard. The struggle is strong. As in, struggle is strong. Now you're signed to a label, right? Yes. Which yes. label are you signed to? JLB Music Group. Okay, how, how were you discovered by the label? Because that's something that is yes. not, you know, mm -hmm. it's not so easy to get signed up by. Yeah, the owner of the label, she, she, she's she, done stuff. Yeah. yeah, she's done stuff in Nigeria. Justina Omoti Sexy. The lady that sang one song then. Yeah, oh, I remember, remember sexy. Her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, we Thank you. That's a Mali Chow or something. Yeah. Oh, that name, yeah. And Justina. Justina, Justina yeah. Justina, yeah. yeah. So, and I've been dancing for her since when I was 13. So, and the spirit I normally sing for her. She'd be like, oh, yeah, you get it. Wow. Yeah, I think so. Someday I just sent the song to her. She was like, wow, I don't know the song. And I'm like, yes. 
said, okay, when I'm back to Nigeria, we'll talk about something. I was like, okay. Okay. Wow. So let me ask you, I know it's rare to have wow. like um, artist, male artist and female record label owner. What's the nature of your relationship between you and <laughs> your boss? Like I said, I've been dancing for her since I was 13. So she's like yeah, it's... my big sis, my mom, wow. my Wow, she's like everything. No, okay. everything. No, 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 like <laughs> mentor, sister, she's like your mother, yeah, mommy, thank you, mother yes. or mommy, yeah. mommy yeah. or mother. Uh, yeah. Oh okay, yes. but then, but then now, since how let's let's juxtapose, let's compare before signing for the label and after signing for the label. It how has, has changed, the label yeah. helped your career? They have like big time, and right now I think my uh, sense of music has really changed, unlike the way I started before. When I got into the label, I she taught me a couple of things. She sings too, and she does it professionally as well. She talks around and stuff. So, like how to put in music, how to put in the right words and where it is and you know not just to sound like everybody else to have mm -hmm. your own particular style and stuff hmm. so, so, far, so, so, so what, what is there. your own particular yeah, what's that style? style that unique sound that you have i think i, I i'm just a storyteller okay. like mm. i have every of my song i have something to tell you like it's not just a song yo come dance and dance and dance and stuff no even if it's the come dance there's something behind the dance mm. just like Shall you and forget the net. And let's well. talk about dance. Let's talk about that. what's the story behind dancing? Because um, I think you started dancing before music, or yeah. was it I music was before dancing? Doing both. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about dancing. Did you go for competitions? Yeah. Did you do it professionally for a while before music yeah. found you? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was part of this group called um, Team Cuba. We won the first international dance competition here in Nigeria hip-hop dance competition in Nigeria. And okay. I danced in so many places, like in church. Outside church. Don't how's things. that? How's it been able? Because now, talking about stage performances now, we see artists like, although Peace Way, they don't dance as much as before. They so. don't. They don't. They don't dance as much as before. Yeah. Then we used to see them and all of that. How has that helped you when it comes to um, stage, you know, your stage performance and all of that? How you perform on stage? How has dance been a help to you? Dance, you know, dance interprets a lot. So okay. oh. with the dance, I think I interpret so many things about the music itself. Right? If I can really express the soul while I'm singing, but I think you can get that message from the dance when I'm dancing. So basically, okay. the dance does a lot when I perform, okay. like perform my song. So okay, so you you said something about being a storyteller. That's what stands you out from the rest of um from the other artists. And then you said mm -hmm. that your dance must be able to tell a mess um, a story. Yeah. So now you're going to dance, and then you get us to interpret the message behind the dance. Okay. Yes, cause, because just because you are a storyteller and you're a dancer, so this is your stage. You're okay, going to tell now. us a story. Maybe we should just move here or something. So we'll it's actually it's story. traumatic right now. Well, dancing and telling okay, story. just do us, just do something. Maybe you can do it right there. Just tell us a story. It could be body movement. You yeah, know you don't how people do. Yeah, you don't have to stand. <laughs> body movement. <laughs> no, let's, she's, let's get she's the story. intrigued. How do you tell yeah, a story with that? Yeah, let's just be able to summarize the story when you're done. I hope done. you can understand whatever you We understand. What are you trying to say? That we're not smart. <laughs> is eh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Your time starts now. Oh boy. Yeah. Is that it, Jay? Yeah, that's it now. Wow. <laughs> So what is the story now? Okay now, she has given no, now MM has to give us the story. Can you now tell us the story? I think you just did the panel thing. For your sake, I did. No, I like, I'm like, I'm like, wow. <laughs> Richard wow, is this, lost for this words. got me like, well. Okay, um, I think you just did I didn't mad over you. You are the mad over I like the other part saying, wow, nice. Oh, that yeah, that, we'll, dance, we'll, we'll do the dance, okay. maybe we'll have to talk about it, you know, <laughs> later. Cool. All right, so now you've been this level. What are your plans for an album? Yeah, um, I'll If you ever have any plan like that. Right? Yeah, I do have plans for album, but firstly, I'll be dropping an EP sometime this year. How many tracks in the EP? Uh, might be like six. Now, nah, Bombi, that's what it's EP. EP, my name when I just change. You know, they always have different interpretations. No, my what album. is your definition of an EP? It's an and then what's an play, album? Like, is an album for me. I, I think when I'm dropping an album, I'll drop like basically so many songs and songs that have different content. How many in songs it. will you have on an album? Uh, 
in Nigeria, I don't think I can do it. No, not that. Nigeria, it's you, it's you now. Okay, for me, if yeah. you leave me to drop us up to put up an album, I think I'll be having like 21 songs in it. Okay, and your EP six. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, so it's the number of songs that, that really, yes. makes, really it. makes it That makes it that different. way for us, yeah. Oh. Okay, so when are you planning to um, put out the EP set yeah. this year? Yes, yeah, like when this year? I, I don't know, maybe late this year. Do you have all the tracks or you're still in the process of um, recording the tracks I'm for still, the EP? I have couples down already, but I'm still working for more. Because like, so how many tracks oh, do you have out yeah, now? Track, yeah. I, 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 I have, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't make count of yeah, right it. Yeah, but I understand when you're yeah. prolific and all of that, the tracks just come out that way. Yeah, and all that. Just let's talk about right. creation of music, how you do it as well. Okay, but just before that, let's talk about your, your musical icons. So, um, how did you, which people influenced your music? Your music, style of music. Oh, actually, true. Yeah. And then we're just going to how you create music. Usher, Usher has always been there for me. Like the dude with the dance, the music before Chris Brown came in, and Weekend himself. The oh. Weekend. The Weekend. The Weekend. Yes. How? Wow. Also, he doesn't dance. He's very. He's like our own Mr. Easy. Very easy somebody. If you, you notice know. the weekend, whenever he drops a song, the story behind the song is very heavy. Oh, and oh very yes. Yes. Now, story. now we get yes. to. Now we get to. So that's the reason why I think I like the weekend and. Whiskey, like everybody knows like whiskey. Cool. Whiskey cool. inspires because of his melodious sound and how we, you know, play with the sound and stuff. So, cool. whiskey. What well, okay. the hair? There's always a mentor for everything that this an artist has on. This hair. Yes. We don't want to know the story, are we? Let's leave it. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, so how do we hit you up on social media? How do fans out there or people keep in touch with what you do? Um, up to with uh, anything you have coming up. You can follow me on Instagram, I am Jamani. Twitter, I am Jamani. Snapchat, I am Jamani. Hmm. I am Jamani. Great one, great one. Thank you very much. Uh, about some wonderful coming. video. Yes. I think that whenever you have that nice uh, segue of dance and music together, it makes, yeah. it, makes it, it gives it content. Very cool. Like. Okay, but then you're taking us out with that performance, right? With that Forget song. The Forget the night. Forget the night. Hey, yeah. we'll go off yeah. this light. But there's a way the night is actually don't want to be no, with no, him no, in no. this night. Let's just go now that everything is You should just help me with the, <laughs> the, the fair vixen in the video. You just be there. But vixens don't wear skirts. They do. Don't skirts. <laughs> okay, it's been a wonderful show. Thank yes, you for being a part of the show. We yes, will see you uh, tomorrow, but then not until uh, Jay Jamani takes us out with Forget, Forget the, the Night. night. It's going to get dark in here. Yeah. Okay, Jay Jamani, this way, just take the whole stage on. Forget the night. Dance anyhow. If you want to. <laughs>